Kalash Singh believes that abstaining from washing will aid him in his quest to become a father. Even though his wife had given him an ultimatum to stop sleeping with him, he did not back down from his resolve. It's not an accomplishment that his family and friends will be able to recognize and celebrate straight immediately, but it's nonetheless significant. Those who are closest to him and dearest to him will have a tough time appreciating his achievements. As for Kailash Singh, he can lay claim to the label of world's smelliest man just as much as anyone else, having refused to wash his hands for more than 37 years. Mr. Singh hasn't washed or cut his six-foot-long dreadlocks since his marriage ended in 1974, a period of more than four decades. He provides the following justification for his non-conventional decision. Mr. Singh hasn't washed or cut his six-foot dreadlocks since his marriage ended in 1974. However, as indicated by his seven daughters, he's clearly failed to follow the counsel provided by his religious leaders. Mr. Singh indicated that if he followed the priest's advice, he would be rewarded with the birth of a son and heir that he had longed for. However, as indicated by his seven daughters, he has clearly failed to follow the counsel provided by his religious leaders. Every morning, Mr. Singh indulges in a fire bath that entails smoking marijuana, praying to the Hindu deity Shiva, and dancing in front of a bonfire. Mr. Singh works hard in 47-degree heat, and the only cleansing he allows himself is a night of drinking and dancing. In India, Mr. Singh is a fire bath provider who works with cows on a regular basis. A member of his long-suffering family has claimed that they once tried to force him into a brook to relieve themselves of their suffering. He fought us off and then walked away, the narrator describes. Kalavati Devi, his 60-year-old wife, agreed to the arrangement. We've attempted to force him into taking a shower several times since then, but he's always put up a fight. He can only be persuaded to take a bath by his son, who is the only one who can convince him otherwise. Having lived with it for so long, I've become numb to the sensation. Then his wife threatened to stop sleeping with him if he didn't bathe, but she eventually caved in and said that she should be loyal and put up with the stench first, which she did. The following is an excerpt from the story which was originally published on the Daily Mail website. In contrast, after refusing to wash his hands for more than 37 years, Kailash Singh may lay claim to the label of world's smelliest man as much as anyone else. In 1974, a few months after he and his wife tied the knot, he grew out his dreadlocks to six feet in length and didn't cut or wash them. Following the priest's instructions, Mr. Singh claimed that he would be blessed with a son and heir, which he did in order to provide an explanation for his out-of-the-ordinary activity. Despite the fact that his neighbors tease him, he has seven daughters. Despite the fact that the sweating farmer is considered lucky to have any children at all, his religious guidance appears to have failed him, as evidenced by the fact that he has seven daughters. During the day, he's responsible for cows in temperatures that can reach 47 degrees Celsius. The only form of self-cleansing that he allows himself is an evening fire bath that involves smoking marijuana, praying to the Hindu god Shiva, and dancing in front of a campfire. At the end of the film, his long-suffering family discloses that they once attempted to force him into a creek. The couple's 60-year-old wife, Kalavati Devi, reported how he beat them off and then fled the scene. He has refused to take a shower on multiple occasions since then, despite our repeated attempts to push him into it. He can only be persuaded to take a bath by his son, who is the only one who can convince him otherwise. Given the length of time that's passed, I've grown accustomed to it. After all of this, his wife threatened to stop sleeping with him if he didn't bathe, but she eventually fell in, claiming that she would be faithful and put up with the stench for his sake, which he accepted. While tending to his cows and working in his fields near the Indian holy city of Varanasi, where temperatures often reach 47 degrees Celsius, the father of seven works up a sweat at night when he returns to his home in the village. He accepts that the residents of his distant town of Shatav make fun of him, but he maintains that he's only carrying out God's instructions. He claimed that when he rides his bicycle around the hamlet, children ridicule him and accuse him of not washing his clothes. There are a lot of people with a poor reputation who make fun of me because I don't wash my clothes. Even though the individuals in my immediate vicinity are perplexed by my decision, I have no intention of changing my mind because it's God's decision, not mine. 
greeting visitors outside his home are Guru Kalash Singh's 60-year-old wife, Kalavati Devi, his daughters, Pooja Singh, age 16, Neetu Singh, 25, and Baby Singh, 35, as well as his grandsons, Shadra Singh, 8 months, and Mohit Singh, 12. My wife is also bothered by it, but she's put up with my dealing with all the issues that come my way. Additionally, I take a fire bath in the evenings to assist eliminate excess sweat. Mrs. Singh claims that she's tried everything to persuade her filthy husband to change his bad habits, but has ended up empty-handed. According to the woman, she has verbally abused him and had caused him to break down in tears when he informed her of his blunder. I even threatened to stop sleeping with him, but he is my husband, so there's nothing I could do, she added. It's even said that Pooja, the eldest daughter who's 16 years old, has benefited from her father's unusual decision to become more popular as a result of it. My schoolmates are quite excited about the prospect of seeing and meeting my papa, she shared. Another issue that is regularly addressed by those who want to see for themselves is how he survived for so many years without washing. In the past, I would have been furious, but there's nothing we can do because we would not listen to anyone. He did not even take a single shower despite the fact that I would want to shower at least twice a day during this scorching weather. He manages to stay alive, and I have no idea how he does it. The only time Kalash comes into contact with water is when he wipes his mouth and hands after eating anything. Because I don't have a son, I'm not going to wash my clothes again, he explained. The next time I come back to life, I'll probably wash my hands. Although this is not the first time this has happened, there are other examples, such as an Iranian who has not showered in 60 years and who smokes animal feces, but who can cook a mean decayed porcupine. Amal Haji, age 80, took the decision to live in this manner after enduring a number of mentally challenging exercises. A hole near a town in southern Iran is where the 80-year-old is currently residing after being forced to live on the streets for several years. According to his views, he does not wash his hands because he believes that being clean will make him sick. He's single and on the lookout for a long-term commitment. Nevertheless, if you want to earn his affections, you'll have to accept his slightly unconventional way of life. Amal Haji hasn't cleaned in 60 years because he believes that being clean will make him sick, which he claims is untrue. A rotten porcupine has been his favorite snack for more than 60 years, and he's been eating it since then. One of his favorite methods to decompress is to sit down and smoke from a pipe that's been loaded with animal feces and urine. Mr. Haji, who's eight years old, maintains that he embraced this way of life after experiencing some emotional failures in his youth and that, as a result, perhaps unavoidably, he's become a little isolated over the last few years. When a group of men approached him and offered to shower him, he managed to escape away and he now lives in Deja village in southern Iranian area of Fars. While sleeping, he alternates between sleeping in a hole in the ground that's frighteningly similar to a grave and sleeping in an open brick cottage that was built for him by concerned citizens to provide him with some privacy. Mr. Haji has an aversion to clean food and drink, in addition to a disdain for cleanliness and sanitation. His favorite foods are rotting meat from dead animals, and five liters of water every day, which he gets from a rusting oil can. He doesn't care about anything else. Nonetheless, don't believe Mr. Haji is negligent about his looks. According to the Tehran Times, he wants to look his best. He grooms himself in his car. Moreover, he does not bother to get a haircut because he simply burns his hair in a fire when he does so. In terms of clothing, he dresses in rags, and in the winter he wears a battle helmet to protect himself from the bitter cold. 66-year-old Indian man Kailash Singh, who lived in a cave for 38 years before taking his last shower, holds the world record for the longest stretch of time without showering. He's the first person to do so. Mr. Haji says that he has overcome this obstacle. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.